everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the welterweight division between Tommy the Hitman Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. Tommy Hearns is now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Sugar Ray Leonard's on his way to the ring, and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tommy the Hitman Hurts! And his opponent, fighting across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, Sugar Ray Leonard! Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room, you know what to do. Just touch gloves. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. The last time Tommy Hearns fought Ray Leonard, he knocked him down twice. The first time they fought prior to that, we know he had him in bad shape. Do you see that coming around again, that he gets him in that kind of spot? Well, that's what Leonard would like to see. But, you know, Tommy's looking at the last one. And, you know, he's building his case for that. You know, that's his story. He's sticking with it. Like they like to say, he's going to be thinking that the last time I found a home for my right hand, I want to find that home again. And another right hand comes in. Way through round number one. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Fires right back at him. Unable to score with the hook. Not precise at all by Hearns. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Hearns. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, the Hearns corner here having to deal with swelling on their man. They're going to deal with it. I think they should whisper just a couple quick words into their fighter's ear and just say, it's not bad. We're taking care of it. You take care of your job. Got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Hearns. Oh, Tommy Hearns is stunned, and he is hurt. Come on now, guys. Keep busy. Come on. Covers up nicely. Gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. Oh, good stuff there. Two in a row by Sugar Ray Leonard. 
Teddy, Tommy Hearns in his frame, six foot two, with almost that V shape to his upper body. Every time I look at him, I still don't understand how he fought at welterweight. Well, you know, he reminds me of other fighters in the past. One that comes to my mind is Emil Griffith. Griffith had those huge shoulders, and of course that V that you're talking about. You're right. You look at him and you say, how on earth does he... Oh! Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're beating each other. Right on the mark, both guys with the hook. Now hugging on the inside. To throw some punches here. Downstairs with a counter punch. The Hearns corner here having to deal with swelling on their man. They're gonna deal with it. I think they should whisper just a couple quick words into their fighter's ear and just say, it's not bad, we're taking care of it. You take care of your job. And Sugar Ray's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Tommy Hearns has now got to deal with swelling. Well-targeted counterpunch by Hearns. Many great superstar athletes are associated with one single city, but Tommy Hearns, I mean, Tommy Hearns is Detroit Motor City through and through, isn't he? Yeah, he is Detroit Motor City, and he runs you over like something with a motor in it. And the way he does it is from that really thin frame, usually from the outside, and he just explodes on you. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. to go in this oh and there you go Tommy Hurts is in bad shape Sugar Ray Leonard's trying to create some space you can see how he's going about it there he goes down it was the hook that put him there to his feet after that knockdown. You know, he's always been good at dishing it out. That's the first thing you think about, and the first thing the opponent thinks about is, this has been a big puncher. Now let's see how he acts when he's on the receiving end. We're gonna find out. Boy, that's a big gash there on the cheek. Okay. Don't fight his fight. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Sugar Ray Leonard's fighting real smart here on the outside. Every gym's got one of those double-ended bags, right? They give you the movement, you gotta hit that moving target, work on your accuracy. He's making it so that his opponent never had to work on one, Teddy. He's just sitting right there, right in front. No head movement whatsoever. No, not at all. He didn't have one in his gym, that's for sure, because he just does not know how to move his head. The old timers would say, he gets insulted if you miss him. Targeted two punch combo by Hearns. Tommy Hearns, his cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. 
Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Oh, look at that. They exchange hooks. That shot unable to land. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. Throws a counter punch there. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Tommy Hearns has got to like where he's headed right now. Now, your scorecard still has him trailing, but he did win that last round. Yeah, I think so. I mean, before it looked like he was just trying to, you know, negotiate with his opponent. Now, negotiation is over. He's trying to just go through. And the way he's at, I think that's the right attitude. Now, this is a very exciting fight. It's been evenly fought, but it just has the feel of a fight that's going to go the on, distance. Busy, it doesn't guys. look on like on, come any on, come one on. guy is going to take control over the other. No, when somebody makes up their mind, I am not being knocked out. I am staying. They usually stay. These guys are here for the night. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. So Sugar Ray Leonard has to rise up and beat the count. Now he's got himself a little bit of a challenge here. And now what he's doing, he's going through a CAT scan, an MRI, an X-ray. Well, you're going to get a chance to see what's inside Sugar Ray Leonard. Able to show you his blocking ability. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Parries that punch intended for the head. Lands the counter. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Wow, is he defensively sound. Oh, boy, look at this. Right from the get-go, they go after one another. They remind me of my 15-year-old son going to the dinner table. Both men trading hooks. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. <laughs> Leonard blocks that punch. Good looking counter punch. Fourth they go, each man getting the best of it. What a fight. Holy cow! Tommy Hearns is stunned and he is right, hurt. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. <laughs> 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Oh, Sugar Ray Leonard's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. 
And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? goes down and now is rising to his feet. And now he's gonna show you something that you don't usually see. Something that usually you need an x-ray machine to see. Inside him. You know outside what he has, all that great talent. Now he's gonna show you inside what he has. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before, you've overcome it. You want to remind them that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, see, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Leonard blocks that punch. He throws a big, wide punch and is a... He... He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. <laughs> Pulls the trigger fast. He has found his groove with his right hand. Well, just watch the way. Oh! Sugar Ray Leonard stunned, and he is hurt. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. <laughs> Like I just came out of the movie theater show, and I did not expect that ending. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon. <laughs>